So the final stage in any XD project is to actually export the assets so that your developers can start building out the actual final product. You can export in a few different ways. So if I wanted to export the artboards, for example, then I could select either an individual artboard by clicking on the name or dragging around to select a range of artboards. You can, of course, use Shift if you want discontiguous uh, artboards there to select those. But if I just grab the whole lot just here and then do Command E for export, which is also available in the file menu, I can then choose where they're going to go and they'll be exported. Now we'll come to these controls in just a little bit, but these are going to come out as PNGs. So I just choose export just here and then pop you out to the finder where we can have a look at what's in the folder now. So these have all exported as PNGs. You can see that and I've got them at the original size and two up as well. They've taken on the artboard names as part of the file name just there. So I'm just going to remove those just for the minute. So I'll just delete those out of there. And now I'm going to come down to exporting individual objects. So down at the bottom here, I've got two items. There's a text frame there and a rectangle behind it. So if I now just choose export with both of those selected, and I'll just carry on just there, pop back to the finder so you can see what's happened there. It's actually exported those things individually. OK, so I'm just going to get rid of all of those. Let's just delete those. And I'll come back, and this time I will group them. So now I've got the two things together. I've just done Command-G to group them. If I select the group and export that, okay, you'll see that now I get one single object here. So they're all together. So if you want them as images that have everything in, then of course group them together like so. Let's just get rid of those. So if I just delete those from the folder there and come back to this. So I've got these individual objects just here. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this one for web and I'm going to export this one. Okay, and this is going to be called uh, web just here. Okay, and I'm going to export this for web. Okay, so if I just do that and let's pop out to the finder and see what we get. So we get the original size just there and the two up version there like so. I'm now going to export for iOS. So if I just export this Apple here and check iOS from the radio here and I'll call this one Apple also. Top there and switch out to the finder. Then you'll see that I've now got three versions there because Apple gives you a two and three X as well. And if I come along for Android and choose to export here, if I just call this Android and choose Android and export that. And now pop back out to the finder. You'll see that I get all of the different versions of that. So I've got the original and the high DPI, mid DPI, extra high DPI and extra, extra, extra high DPI and so on from there. So I've got all of those files in one go. I do have one further option here. So if I select these three items and then choose to export and this time, rather than the PNG, if I export as SVG, okay, I'm just going to have any images that are in there embedded, although you could have them linked out as well. And I'm going to get them to be optimized as well. I'll just pop that back to web. Not that it really matters for SVG. But if I just choose that and pop back out to the finder, you'll now see that I have all of my SVG files in here individually. So here's group 4, SVG, you just get the 1, and group 5, and path 1, just there. All as SVGs, all nicely optimized. And so that's it. That's how you would go along and export all of your assets from XD. I hope you've enjoyed XD Week, and don't forget to keep coming along to the YouTube channel and the blog for more on XD and the other Creative Cloud apps every week.